got a nice uh, Christmas present. It's a little belated. What's that? An earful from Mrs. Deal. <laughs> Turns out she listens to this here radio program. Fellow crappers, it's your old buddy, it's your old pal, Artie Reynolds here once again with Wrestle Crap Radio. And as always, on the other end of the tin cannon string, Mr. Blade Braxton. Uh, just just call out a, a, a Queen song, and I'll sing it. Go um. ahead, go ahead, I'll take in requests. Okay, well, I, 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 uh, you know, I'm gonna hit you with an obscure one because I like the movie Highlander. Do you know, how, do you know how Who Wants to Live Forever? No, so I'll sing something else instead. Okay. All we hear is Radio Gaga, Radio Goo Goo, Radio Gaga. Kind of reminds me of, you know, that Flash Gordon. Timothy Dalton stuck his hand into that, like tree stump. You know, mm. he was. He was sticking his hand into the unknown. Flash! Like ah! Savior of the universe! How'd you like that? You like my singing? Maybe we can do a duet. Speaking of the Savior of the universe... <laughs> Backstrola, kids! I like to think it's my own personal spaceship. <laughs> it's leading me into the unknown. <laughs> the unknown. I'm sticking my hand into the Faxtrola. And I'm pulling out, you know what I'm pulling out, Obscure Wrestling News, The Great Kali. Could you understand any word that he said besides, I, I didn't even understand that. You translated yeah, it Yeah, you to had me. to really be paying attention to understand that. Here's what, I, oh, I need to do this. I didn't do this, but I really need to. You know how they have closed captioning? Do they have closed they have closed captioning on Raw? <laughs> that would be great. I, I still have it on the TiVo downstairs. I'm gonna I'm gonna check that out. I wanna I wanna oh. get a translation as to what it says. Oh, dude, that is the greatest that's the greatest that's the funniest thing I've heard all week, man. You have to We should start doing that should be a weekly segment. Yes. Translate great colleagues promos. Mm -hmm. We should even come up with new music for that. Because every every segment Every segment on this show has music. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, the rumor is why they're bringing Kali over there is they really want to have a... They want to have Hogan at WrestleMania. And they want to have him fighting a giant. And the rumor is it's going to be the great Kali. God, Hogan fighting a giant. What a unique novel concept. That's 20th anniversary of, of Mania. You know, of Mania 3. And that's what they're thinking is it's going to be in Detroit, and they want to they want to do it. Hogan versus a giant. Here's what they could do. Can we have can we, can we have Bundy versus a midget too? That would be hot. But here's what we could do. They should have Bundy versus that midget that like beat off in the trash can in TNA. Remember that? Psycho the. I thought it puppet. was puppet. The psycho Pu puppet, puppet, puppet the, the psycho dwarf. The psycho dwarf, yeah. Yes, yes. They you know that, should have the Great Kali get really liquored up. Try and get the Great Kali to drink 119 beers in six hours. I think Great Kali could drink 120 in six hours because uh, I heard if, you, if you're a little bit leaner, you can drink more. Mm -hmm. so. I don't know the beer could ever get past his giant teeth. Like That's what like they need to do. Okay. License to print money. We come up with these every once in a while. Need to repackage Kane back as Isaac Yankum DDS. Oh, so you're suggesting that the current Kane character doesn't work? No, I'm not or saying not that. I'm just saying that I want some excuse on <laughs> WWE TV for them to just zoom in on, on Great Collie's teeth. Kids! Hold up your thumbs, I'm telling you. 
See your thumb? You know what? That's the size of one of his teeth. You know, uh, could you imagine if one of those got knocked out during a wrestling match and they put those up on WWEauction.com? Oh, my God. Well, I would hope they get knocked out into the ring. If it flew out of the ring, it may kill somebody. It could literally put an eye out. Forget like, about a red no, rider. No, eye. It could put your forehead out. It's big as a boulder. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Rosie and Donald. The bitch ain't a foot well. The match sucked Moby's dick. <laughs> You're not going to hear Dave Meltzer on Observer Live talking about how Umaga looks like Snoopy. No. No, you're not going to. Only right here at WrestleCrap Radio. Should I be fearful for my job? Uh, no. No, that, that thing where we're going to have a, a host for, it's just for the day. Oh, okay. For now. Um. <laughs>